Tall and tan and young and handsome, the boy from Ipanema goes walking and when he passes. The Pirelli calendar is an entirely new direction for me. I thought, how can I try and make this sort of my own and do it in my way and bring something new to it? And it seemed to me that a really interesting direction would be to take some really gorgeous, beautiful women and really make a series of portraits of them right here in Rio. Probably the best cityscape in the world is right here in Rio. There's no city that comes remotely close. It's just an incredible location. Ah, when he walks, it's like a samba that swings so cool and sways so gentle that when he passes, each girl he passes goes, ah. The tradition of the Pirelli calendar has, has been nudes since the beginning. Uh, I thought it would be better for me to take some of these fabulous women who have charities and worthwhile and interesting projects and to focus on them and to highlight them and their work. For me, it's a very beautiful day. It's like there is something like magical in the location and the contact with me and the Steve. I can see something between the camera and me inside. Oh, but I watch him so sadly. How can I tell him I love him? Yes, I would give my heart gladly. But he stay when he walks to the sea. I'm very proud. I'm always being proud of being Brazilian. <laughs> How amazing this is. In Rio, with Steve McCurry, it's a very beautiful thing, and I'm very proud and honored to be part of this one. He looks straight ahead. From Ipanema goes walking And when he passes I smile But he doesn't see No, he doesn't see He doesn't see me Our future is our kids So we have to do something for them So they can have a better future They can do something good not just going to a bad side of life. They can learn how to be good and do good things. I found the favelas fascinating. These slums, they have the best view of the city. How can I tell him I love him? Yes, I would give my heart gladly. But he stayed when he walks to the sea. He looks straight ahead. I think it's such a beautiful 
moment here that we're able to be taking the photos in the favelas with the background of you know the development that has been going on and the beautiful nature behind us of course tall and dead and young and handsome the boy from Ipanema goes walking when i was invited to do this campaign it seemed like it fit so perfectly because ever since i was a young girl humanitarian work was built into my dna and so then i became a model after that so I used my modeling as a way to kind of promote my humanitarian work directly. When he passes, I smile, but he doesn't see. He just doesn't see. He just doesn't see. It's so amazing that Pirelli has decided to provide this incredible platform for powerful women and their causes. Since inception, we have rebuilt 57 schools around the world. Uh, this year, we will rebuild at least 11 to 13 new schools, and that's just the beginning. <laughs> it's a privilege to work with Steve. He captures life in a, such a special, uh, delicate way. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful, so. Yeah. Getting rained on definitely helped to, to get the layers off and, and to open that soul. There's a mood to the rain and, and to a kind of a gloomy day, which I think is just beautiful and it's very emotional. Conditions were not easy. It was not easy because the tropical rain and there was water coming from everywhere. shooting in Lapa and it was wet, but it was beautiful, it was colorful, it's intense, there is history in the walls. It felt like a movie shot. What will make a change in Egypt is education. And so a, a dream was born at that moment where I thought I really would like to create a new kind of association in Egypt that would be able to, 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 to enhance and maybe uh, open the, the perspective of children. So, I mean, it's a huge, it's a huge aspiration, but I hope from a small thing to be able to make something out of it.
think it's a privilege, you know, to be Brazilian and to do music because we have such a rich culture. <laughs> Everybody uh, lost people, everybody had uh, HIV friends around during all these years, so it's impossible not to be touched by this cause. I do feel like I have probably the best career out there and I found it like really appealing to be able to marry environmental and social well-being with the modeling with the cause. Now we're having a, a more mature conversation where we're starting to figure out that you know having the environment intact and having the ecosystems intact really yield economic benefits. So I applaud both Pirelli and Steve for coming together um, because I think the marriage will actually create something that is unexpected in a way. <laughs> Sorry. educate a child is to to give them love to give them discipline to give them a hope so tomorrow they can compete in the big huge world Steve McCarry, he's unbelievable and uh, it's a pleasure to be here working with him. And I feel even more special because I'm pregnant and I'm doing working with him. <laughs> Thank you.
I would not see any other photographer capturing the most beautiful image, the pregnant woman. He would know exactly how to show that. I went to visit the St. Damien's and St. Luke's hospital and something just opened inside of me and I wanted to be involved somehow. I met so many people in the hospital that you can see they're there out of love and that was a lesson for me to see how these people respond towards them. It was such a beautiful thing and I want right now to help them a little bit more. Joining us on this shoot. I'm super excited. Yeah, no, this. come on. This is an honor to work with such a real. Uh, this is an old train station which has great light and a lot of interesting, kind of mysterious yeah. things around here. really excited to see him coming into the fashion world by doing this calendar together and sort of mixing you know how he does that and adding a little bit of fashion into it I'm really really excited to see the portraits I grew up in Ethiopia and I grew up really used to hearing about women dying in childbirth. It was quite normal. But then I had my own kids and I had them in the States. And, you know, in the United States, you realize that women don't die in childbirth. You know, that's like something that people don't even discuss. So I became a Grun ambassador for the WHO to talk more about maternal health because it's not an issue that comes to the table anymore. Steve, pleasure. I'm Carly. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, really, this is really going to nice. be great. Yeah. Thank you for having I me think, today. No, I'm our pleasure. I'm very excited this is great. For Thank this. you. Yeah. So this is um, kind of an old abandoned train station, but yeah, it has great light. It has all this wonderful feeling of uh, you know it's old beautiful. station, and you were saving the the best for the you. Best, but just for me. <laughs> best for last. Okay, good. that it's clothed, it brings the attention to who these women are outside of just 
their body, I mean, what they're doing and, and the voice that they have and the message that they're trying to spread. This is going to be such a special project that I know I'm going to look back at the rest of my life and I think that um, you know these, these photos are going to be just hauntingly iconic.